Hello, people. Welcome to another review video. This one is about the new companion, Yojimbo, which seems to be a potential replacement for the ever so popular Shoten Tiger. I was wondering about this companion, and the best way to learn about it is to test it for myself and you guys, of course. Outside of the two annual 40% sales, the 33% coupon is the next cheapest way to buy both the Shoten Tiger and the Yojimbo since they cost the same. I know that the Shoten Tiger has been around for a while now, but I should review it anyway just to make the comparison easier to swallow. Arr. Sorry. Also, note that Kawari can interrupt Iai Nugi before that power is complete, thereby cancelling the debuff until next usage. For this next part, let's take a closer look at how Kawari works. First, finding my damage resistance. What I'm trying to do here is to deflect a hit while being buffed by Divine Protector from my friend OP. So we can see how the math plays out in the combat log.
There we go. Thank you, Noct, for your assistance. Alright guys, I'm saving the worst for last. This part is the main reason why I decided to make this video. The biggest problem with Yojimbo is killing itself with Iai Nuki. Like so. At first I was like, nah, it's probably just a bad placement or timing. But then I remembered how other companions with teleportation skill, such as the Shadow Demon, and the mercenary have the same problem. Any fight with a platform mechanic such as Dragon Turtle in Fan Breaker Island, Ras the Sea in Tomb of the Nine Gods, and this one, Cradle, your Jinbo takes the floor, literally. Losing the companion during the Soul Monger Court phase isn't too big of a deal. Let's see how this goes. When Yojimbo uses Ei Nugi, it passes through any target, even the big bad Atrable. Where did it go? Anyone seen it? Wood, there it is! Bruh, really? Down it goes. And there you have it. I really hope that Ei Nuki gets fixed because it is currently a liability for many of the dungeons that feature a platform mechanic. As for my opinion on which one is better, I would say that the Shotun Tiger is better for short fights, while the Yojimbo is better for longer ones. Sounds familiar? Mm -hmm. Anyway, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye!